Okay, as promised, you're getting to go on a little tour of the garden. The bed you see right in front of you is my potato bed. So let's go a little bit closer. I'll try not to make anybody seasick here. But as you can see, we've got potatoes coming up already. And they've got drip line, so they will get consistent water. I'm to be careful with uh, potatoes especially because if they get a lot of water and then don't get any water and they get a lot of water, they'll crack and they're really kind of ugly when they come up out of the ground. But there's the potatoes we have. I have planted in this bed. Consult my notes here because memory is not the best. I have a row and we'll start at this end a row of blue gold potatoes and then I've got two rows here of Kennebec and then two rows of Yukon gold and then down here at the end that are like popping up all over are my red Pontiacs so that's pretty exciting and then we'll go around over here and look at this bed again this one is the potato bed is four by eight this one is also four by eight as is that one over there and please just disregard the weedy mess that the walkways are in because though that will be changed when i get some mulch and stuff but in this bed in this corner weighing in at like ounces is a sunset i believe um marigold because we do have i'm going to kind of pan around here we got this nice open backyard that the deer love to come into so i'm hoping the marigolds will add a little bit of color but also make them think this is not their salad bar so planted right next to me kind of get in here i don't know if you can see how well you can see but these are red onions um, those were planted from starts, or sets rather, onion sets. Um, onions are a biennial, so sets think that they're a second year onion, so I'll probably get some flowers on them instead of big bulbs, but that's okay. Alright, right down in here, there's not a whole lot of germination yet, but right all in here are where my carrots are. And I got a French marigold over in this corner. And then right in here are my beets. And then back there I've got I've, every other one is a snow pea and a purple potted pea. So we shall see how those do for me. And then on this end from the flag to the tea post are where the cucamelons are going to go. And I've got some lovely hordenova netting up as my trellis, which this is awesome stuff if you don't know anything about it. Okay, over here we've got another lovely French marigold. And then these onions, sorry for the shadow folks, these onions are white onions from starts. They're doing pretty, pretty good. And then you can sort of see, let me get down here real close. You can see my lettuce is starting to come up. So I've got, I think, six different types of lettuce. And I'm going to do this as cut and come again. Um, so I'm not, I planted them really high intensity. Um, so they're not going to be, you know, head lettuce. They'll be leaf lettuce. And then the Hortanova netting here is for cucumbers. And I'm going to be doing slicing and I'm trying out lemon cucumbers. We'll see how that goes. Then my cup there, I'll tell you about that in just a second. It is important. Okay, now we're going to come around and I'm going to kind of give you a big overview here. I don't know if you can see all three of the trellises we're in now, which is exciting. I love this. I think it turned out so good. Many thanks to the husband for helping me put those up. 
because while I have seen people on YouTube put them in by themselves, I can't even imagine. I think they faked it. I think it's for fake news where they did actually have help, but they edited that out because these are really, the panels themselves are 16 feet long and 50 inches wide. And so trying to wrangle that by myself, I just can't even imagine that. Okay, so we'll go in here. As you can see, again, ignore the weedy mess of the walkways. I'll be fixing that. But I've got mainline um, tubing, as you can see, all here um, for drip line. And then at the base of this trellis here are scarlet runner beans, which I've never grown any of those, so I'm excited to see how they look on this trellis. And then just opposite, again, apologies for the shadow, I've got Kentucky Wonder pole beans. And then along the back, I have my first succession of radishes. I've got cherry radish and plum purple planted. So we shall see how those do. And then I don't have anything planted in these two beds yet, except I've got zucchini started here. And those just went in today, so obviously they are not you know up and growing but these two beds this one um this will have some spaghetti squash and the back of the bed will be well side of the bed whatever How, however you want to this is gonna be where my tomatoes are and then this side will have little personal watermelons and more tomatoes all the tomatoes because we love our tomatoes Okay, and this bed has got onions um, that are planted from starts, which are different than from um, seed. And it looks like this one guy poked himself out of the ground. I'll just poke him back in. But these are, if we were living in Vidalia, Georgia, these would grow up to be Vidalia onions. But as we are not in Vidalia, Georgia, they are yellow granex onions. Granix 33, maybe. I don't know. I'd have to look at the thing again, the label. But also drip line because onions like consistent water as well. And then along this edge over here, I'm going to put some zinnias because I think that'll be really pretty. And then the front here going up the trellis, I'll have uh, butternut and acorn squash. So my winter squashes will go there. And then on this side, here up the trellis, will go cantaloupe. We'll see. I haven't had the best luck with cantaloupes, but we'll I'm gonna try it out. And anytime you do a melon or squash or anything like that on a trellis like this, because if you're familiar, they are more vining plants and they like to sprawl across all creation. Um, so I'm going to train them up the trellis, but I'll have to support the fruit because they'll get heavy and I don't want them to break their vine. And then in the front here, as you can see, I've alternated the French marigold and that sunset marigold. So that'll be pretty, I think. And then the rest of the bed is going to be some peppers. I've got jalapeno and bell and banana peppers. So that's the garden as it stands on April the 18th, 2021. It's very exciting to get this garden started. And I'm going to say goodbye for now. But thanks for coming along with the tour. I'll just do another slow little pan so you can kind of see. Thanks for coming. I realized when I was editing the video so much that it's edited, you know, this is my first video, so take it or leave it, that I did not explain what that very, very, very important cup was for. So I thought I would drop in and tell you, and so you can actually see my face too, that the cup was used to hold hot water um, to dip the tips of the drip tube into so that it would soften them and make it easier for my kind of crunchy hands to be able to handle those little tiny barbed elbow fittings for the drip irrigation system. So that's what the very, very important cup was for. And I apologize that I did not include that in the video the first time.
this is a work in progress, so I hope you stay tuned for my journey through this uh, YouTube creation. Thanks.